Despite the dry spell that has been experienced in most tea growing areas in recent weeks, production has risen. This has negatively affected the price of tea. The Kenya Tea Development Authority says smallholder green leaf production rose to 569.7 million kilograms between July and December 2014, against 523.9 million kilograms produced during the same period in 2013. This represents an increase in smallholder green leaf production by 8.7%. KTD indicates that other tea producing countries such as Rwanda, Burundi, Malawi, Uganda and Tanzania also reported increased production resulting to low tea prices at the Mombasa tea auction. A kilo of processed tea traded at an average price of two U.S. dollars and 23 cents between July and December last year, down from two U.S. dollars and 42 cents during the same period in 2013. This represents a decline of eight percent and is also comparatively lower than three U.S. dollars and 61 cents recorded in 2012. This means tea farmers should expect lower tea bonuses based on this trend. KTDS says, and I quote. Tea prices at the Mombasa tea auction have not stabilized as they oscillate between lows of two US dollars to highs of two US dollars and five cents. Low auction prices in the first half of the financial year resulted from overproduction of made tea depressed industry earnings. As a result, earnings across the industry declined by more than 30 percent compared to the previous year. Unquote. This will be the third year in a row that farmers will be receiving lower bonuses than what they had received the previous year. Some KTDA managed factories pay a mini bonus in April, depending on the individual performance and cash flow position. KTDA is optimistic that if the dry spell witness since January continues, the impact of improved prices will be felt largely in the new financial year that starts in July this year.